So it's zucchini season around the corner. Today we're gonna make a dish that truly showcases what an incredible food it truly is. Just like I've told you in the past, zucchini is actually a fruit, not a vegetable. Anyways, we're talking creamy zucchini pasta. Now the beauty of this recipe, besides the fact that it's so easy to make and made with the simplest ingredients, is that it comes together in under 30 minutes, yet that creamy zucchini sauce feels like it's been simmering for hours. Folks, serve this pasta dish next to a couple slices of crunchy bread, drizzled with some olive oil, and a bottle of Spanish white wine, more specifically a verdejo from the region of Reda, you're going to have yourself the best moment of your day. This video is sponsored by Tienda.com. La Tienda is an online superstore focusing on selling all things Spain for your home and kitchen, and they've been around since 1996. And like I always tell you, they have the biggest selection of artisan Spanish ingredients, like queso manchego, which we're going to be using in today's recipe, the famous jamón serrano and jamón ibérico, marcona almonds, olives, the beautiful canned seafood from Spain, and all the spices you need to make all your favorite Spanish recipes, among so many other great ingredients. And let me tell you, when it comes to cookware, they have an amazing selection of authentic Spanish paella pans that range in size from two servings all the way up to 50 servings, and they even offer classic grilling systems that way you can always perfectly cook your paella at home. Folks, visit tienda.com. Let them know I work from Spain on a fork sent you there and make sure you use coupon code on a fork during checkout for 10% off your order. All right, let's just dive right into this. I'm going to fill a stock pot with some water. You want to go to a little over the halfway point. Then we'll season generously with sea salt and heat it with a high heat. While the water's heating, let's start making our creamy zucchini sauce. I'm going to heat a large fry pan with a medium heat and add in a generous two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, which is 35 milliliters. While the oil is heating, I'm gonna roughly chop one medium-sized onion, roughly chop six cloves of garlic, and cut two medium-sized zucchinis, each one to small bite-sized pieces. And it's okay if the ingredients aren't perfectly cut, as we're gonna puree them later on in the recipe. Then we'll add the chopped ingredients into the hot fry pan, And we'll mix them around, that way they're all coated in the olive oil. And since we cut the ingredients into larger chunks, you don't have to mix this around continuously, but do get in there every minute or so, that way everything evenly sautés. After about five minutes, and the onion is nice and translucent, I'm gonna add in half a teaspoon of dry thyme, which is half a gram, and season generously with sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper. and we'll give it a mix until it's well mixed together. Then we'll add in one cup of water, which is 240 milliliters. And we'll turn it up to a high heat and go between four to five minutes or until the zucchini is nice and translucent. After five minutes and the zucchini is translucent, We'll remove the pan from the heat and let it rest at room temperature, that way the ingredients can slightly cool. At the same time, let's move back to the stock pot. As you can see, the water is now out of boil, so it's time to add in the pasta. For this recipe, I'm using penne pasta, but you can use whatever pasta you like. I'm going to measure out 8 ounces, which is 225 grams, and add it into the stock pot. And as always, you don't have to mix the pasta around continuously, but do get into every two minutes or so, that way it doesn't stick together and it all evenly cooks. While the pasta is cooking, let's move back to the fry pan. Once the ingredients are cool enough to handle, they've been sitting here for a few minutes, I'm going to transfer everything into a tall plastic cylinder. To puree these ingredients, I'm using a hand blender, but you can also use a food processor, Nutribullet, or even a stand-up blender. And we'll blend the ingredients until we end up with a smooth puree. Then we'll heat the same fry pan with a low medium heat and add in the zucchini puree. Then we'll grab some of the water that the pasta is cooking in and slowly add it into the cream sauce while we whisk it together. We're going to add between half a cup to one cup, which is 120 to 240 milliliters, until we end up with a beautiful creamy texture. Once we end up with a creamy sauce, we're going to continue to simmer this on a low medium heat while we wait for the pasta to cook. 
when the pasta is perfectly cooked al dente, which is exactly 11 minutes in my case. So make sure to check the package instructions in the pasta that you're using. We'll start transferring it directly from the stock pot into the pan with the creamy sauce. And I tell you, I like to save some of that water that the pasta was cooked in, just in case the creamy sauce dries up or it's too thick, you add in a splash and it'll bring it back to life. Then we'll remove the pan from the heat. And finally grate in half a cup of cheese, which is 60 grams. I'm using a Spanish manchego here that's been aged for six months, but you can use whatever cheese you like. You can easily veganize this recipe by omitting the cheese or using a plant-based one. And we'll give it a mix until it's well mixed together. And like I've told you in the past, when you're working with cheese and a hot pan, you always want to add it in there at the end if the pan is too hot. It's going to start separating the fats from the cheese and you're going to lose that beautiful creamy texture. You can serve this directly out of the fry pan or transfer it into some serving dishes. Either way, make sure to top it off with a kiss of grated cheese and some fresh parsley. Check it out, our creamy zucchini pasta is done. Effortless to put together, just a handful of ingredients and all done in under 30 minutes. Let's give it a try and see how it turned out. As always folks, now it's time for the moment of truth. Let's see how this tastes. It looks absolutely fabulous. Here we go. That was a big bite. Check that out. I'm telling you. First things first. That painting pasta is beautifully cooked al dente. So important to check the package instructions as there's nothing worse than overcooked pasta. That creamy sauce has such a great texture and a zucchini really shining through. You saw this so easy to make. Heart healthy ingredients and done in under 30 minutes. Give it a try at home and I promise with that first taste you're gonna get hooked on it because it's so good. Really quick before I go, a shout out to a couple of my patrons, Ronald Camp, Steven Riggs, John Kachanowski, and John Dayan. And guys, thank you so much for being patrons of Spain on a Fork. You know how much I appreciate you. Enjoy today's video, hit that like button, leave me a comment below, and if you're not subscribed, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and click on the bell icon. That way you can get notified every time I release new content and to become a part of the Spain on a Fork family. Till the next time, hasta luego.